Hello, welcome to Biostock Studio here in Lund. Today we're taking a closer look at Outsecure, a biotech company out of Stockholm. Joining me is CEO Martin Jansson, who will be answering some questions about the company and drug development. Welcome, Martin. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Um, could you begin by giving us a brief mm -hmm. overview of the company, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the drug development and the pipeline? Absolutely. So, uh, Alsecure is a Swedish biotech, which was founded uh, initially in 2012 as a spin-off from AstraZeneca. So, when AstraZeneca stopped their research in Alzheimer's disease, five researchers from AstraZeneca started Alsecure in collaboration with the Swedish Alzheimer Fund and Professor Bengt Weinblad. And today we are having two projects in Alzheimer's disease. Alstatin, where we are developing a treatment which is preventive against Alzheimer's disease. And then we have one platform called NeuroRestore that you use for patients who already have developed Alzheimer's disease to improve learning capabilities and memory. And then we have a third platform in pain, which is called Painless. And in Painless, we are working with decreasing neurotrophic signaling. And in NeuroRestore, uh, for Alzheimer's disease, we are increasing the neurotrophic signaling. So this is how this is fitting together. Mm -hmm. And as a company, we really want to develop groundbreaking drugs within Alzheimer's disease where there's such an unmet medical need. But also in pain, there's also such a great unmet medical need. We see the opioid crisis in the US, for instance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, you've mentioned you have two platforms mm -hmm. in Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. uh, how did, do these differ from current treatments? Like, for example, aducanumab, the mm -hmm. antibody treatments. Yeah. So if we look at the antibodies, uh, antibodies are biological medication. Mm -hmm. What we are working with on in Alzheimer is only small molecules. So why is that? because small molecules have a higher likelihood of penetrating the blood-brain barrier. Mm -hmm. Small molecules you can also develop into oral medications. An antibody, for instance, you often need to go into the hospital and have an infusion. And also producing a, a small molecule is also much cheaper. So from a cost-effective point of view, it's uh, an advantage. But also a small molecule oral medication is also less cumbersome for both the patient and society. So that is why we are working with small molecules. If you look at antibodies, the indication they are having is mild Alzheimer's disease. Mm. And when you treat these patients, their brain is already really, really damaged. They lost so much in the brain. Mm. With Alstatin, our pro uh, program, which is preventive disease modifying treatment, we want to go in early and make sure that the brain is not damaged. So that is... Uh, is uh, some of the, the differences. Mm -hmm. How do you know exactly when to come in with the treatment altstatin? Yeah, so what we are looking at there are both uh, biomarkers, because you can measure the amount of uh, 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 pathological uh, A, beta, 42 and, and 40. And then you can also look at, uh, uh, um, uh, um, what do you say, genetic markers like APOE4, etc. Mm -hmm. So based on this, using the biomarkers and, and the genetics, you can find the, the patients who are at, at risk. Uh, if you have, for instance, APOE4 are, and are homozygote, you have 10, uh, 10 times increased likelihood of uh, developing Alzheimer's disease. I see. Um, well, along those lines, pharma and biotech companies have struggled over the years to mm -hmm. come up with a good treatment for Alzheimer's mm -hmm. disease. Uh, I, I wanted to ask your opinion of, on how, why it's so mm -hmm. challenging and how will Alsecure overcome this challenge? Yeah. Uh, there are m many reasons. Uh, one of the reasons have actually been that many of the patients who have gone into Alzheimer's trials have not mm -hmm. suffered from Alzheimer's. They have had dementia, but the diagnostic has not uh, been what it should have been. Mm -hmm. And today the diagnostic is so much better. So now we are really, to a greater extent, able to identify the Alzheimer's patients. Uh, then it's also that uh, the amount of investments in Alzheimer's has been very, very small if you compare to uh, oncology, for instance, where there are 20 times bigger investments into oncology. 
So there are many reasons for that. And now also we have learned so much more about the brain and, and everything. So now things are really uh, happening. So that's why uh, some big pharma is really saying that they think that CNS and Alzheimer will be what oncology was uh, a decade ago. So really interesting areas. Mm -hmm. um, you have a strong team of scientific advisors mm -hmm. who are mm -hmm. also KOLs in the field mm -hmm. of Alzheimer's mm -hmm. disease. Uh, how does this benefit your work at Alsecure? Mm -hmm. uh, our external uh, advice is the KOL are, of course, essential. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we work with the best, uh, which we always strive to do, to make sure we get the right input uh, and also do the trials in the way that they should be done. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the external QLs are so, so essential for us. So, for instance, we are working with Professor Henrik Setterberg, uh, who's a professor both in, uh, in London and in, in Gothenburg. He's a well-renowned, top-leading uh, Alzheimer's uh, researcher. So that, that's just one of the examples. And he, for instance, is, is an advisor of uh, Bill Gates for Bill Gates, a project within Alzheimer's. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, well, finally, your board of directors has recently approved a new mm -hmm. capital raise through a rights issue. Uh, how will the funds be allocated? Yeah, so the, uh, the funds will actually go into all of our different uh, uh, projects, both in Alzheimer's disease and pain, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, a large part will go into the, the clinical trial for uh, painless ACD440 in, in neuropathic pain, where we are going into phase two and have just received positive feedback f from the FDA, so we are ready to move in uh, to phase two. And going into uh, phase two open up uh, opportunities for us with regard to out license and everything. So uh, we are in a great, uh, great spot. And as you, you surely know, we have several different projects, two in, in clinical phase and two other promising. So we are very, very busy as a company. Mm -hmm. So we are not a one trick pony. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds very exciting, mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, wish you all the best with your upcoming work, mm -hmm. and thanks so much for joining us in the studio today. Thanks so much, Mike. Thank you.